Today I wanted to do a quick video on my Let It Be collection. Like most Beatles fans, I'm very disappointed that we're not going to see the release of the Get Back movie, the Peter Jackson documentary, or the release on DVD, official release on DVD of the Let It Be album, nor are we going to get the Giles Martin remastered soundtrack for Let It Be. So, you know, I understand everybody's bummed about something these days and everybody's not getting to you know, do the things that they want to do and, you know, all of that related to COVID. But I wanted to do my own video just about Let It Be um, and what I have currently, um, just as sort of a, I don't know, just some way of working through the uh, disappointment maybe. Um, I'm going to go through the vinyl first. This is my copy of Let It Be. Um, it's the Red Apple label, as everybody knows. And this is what the vinyl label looks like. And um, I'm really happy with the shape of this. I would consider this near mint copy. Um, I got this a few years back. Tends to be a lot of ring wear on these Let It Be albums or the black tends to get faded out. And so I'm happy that this one doesn't have that. Um, this is the 1980s Capitol release of the Let It Be album. At least I think it's 1980s. They got rid of the gatefold, and instead, what was in the gatefold, they used uh, for the inner sleeve. And this is the purple Capitol label. I'm sure it was just a, you know, save money. Um, but this was the very first Let It Be copy that I owned. I had it this way, and I remember being kind of bummed out that it didn't have the gatefold. You couldn't get the gatefold anymore. But it did come with a poster of the Let It Be album, and the paper is not very thick. It's almost like the thickness of wrapping paper. Um, and I guess that was maybe to compensate for the fact that there wasn't a gatefold. I don't know. But um, nonetheless, the only difference, um, or the differences mainly in the two vinyl is we've got Capital um, up here in the left-hand corner, and there is not the Apple logo in the center. And it doesn't say manufactured by uh, Apple Records on the back either. So those are my two uh, vinyl copies of Let It Be. This is my cassette copy of Let It Be. This is the uh, British version. And in terms of the order, it starts off with two of us on side one, then I Me Mine, one after 909, Across the Universe, Dig It, and Let It Be. So at least you have the continuity with Dig It and Let It Be. The rest of it, it's almost like they just took the song titles and threw them up in the air, and however they pick them back up is the order they put the songs in. Side two starts off with Maggie May. Dig a Pony, The Long and Winding Road, I've Got a Feeling, For You, Blue, and Get Back. So at least For You, Blue, and Get Black, get Back are in the right position, but otherwise it's just kind of a jumbled mess. This is the Capital version, or Apple version, on cassette of uh, Let It Be. And in terms of this song sequence, Two of Us, I Dig a Pony, Across the Universe, Dig It, Let It Be, Maggie May, and then side two starts off with I Me Mine, and then you have the rest of the album as it was regularly sequenced. So I know they did that to make sure there wasn't too much blank space on the side of uh, either side of that cassette. Um, my CDs, this is the original 1987 or whatever, uh, whenever this came out, release. And the only picture on the inside of that book that is just, they took the cover photo and it's got a white border instead of a black border. And then the 2009 
remaster of Let It Be with more photographs. This kind of opens up into a trifold. And the disc is the Apple label. Not the red Apple label, but the green Apple label. Would have been cool if they had put the red Apple label, I suppose, but they did not. And then, um, you know, this is a glossy booklet. It's got pictures from the sessions. And I don't know if this replicates the British, the British version where you had a book that came with it, the original release of the album, but I suspect it might be. And then I've got uh, Let It Be Naked on CD. I just realized I didn't grab it, but I don't see any point in grabbing that. Most people have that one anyway. So um, this is my copy of Let It Be on DVD. Don't have it on, I don't know if it ever came out on VHS. It might have on a bootleg, and this might be a bootleg itself. Um, And if you've never seen the movie Let It Be, it's worth checking out. And I'm really interested to see the differences between the Get Back documentary, the tone of that, and then um, this DVD. I don't necessarily get the impression that the Beatles were miserable watching this. I mean, they seem to be having a lot of fun. They're joking around. I mean, there's a one tiny segment where George Harrison and Paul McCartney are kind of getting into it a little bit. But, you know, apart from that, I'm not sensing that this was a band on the verge of breaking up. Like, it's, you know... The story's been told, and I know George left during the making of the album and all that, but, um, you know, I find it a enjoyable movie to watch. It wouldn't be for non-Beatle fans to watch. I think they'd get kind of bored with it, but, you know, the rooftop sequence is very cool. Um, some of the songs that they're in the process of recording, it's nice to kind of watch them like a fly on the wall, but... Uh, you know, nonetheless, I'm real interested to see how the remastering looks for this when it comes out, the official release on DVD and also the Peter Jackson documentary. So thanks for watching and uh, if you have any comments, leave them below and I appreciate uh, everybody's feedback. Thanks.